Hey, how are you guys? This is the M Miner review. Uh, we were able to get uh, this decent machine from the Texas Bitcoin conference from the Miner Source guys to do this review. So uh, this is it. Let's uh, see how to set it up. Uh, as you can see, this uh, device is uh, like the second generation of the N Miner. So you can see a PCI Express port here. Uh, well, we will fire it up through the PCI Express cable. We are going to use a 1000 watt uh, EVGA uh, PSU. It's really important the device does not come with the power supply, so you will need to buy yeah. power supply yeah. for this device. Well, uh, if you don't have uh, a big uh, power supply like that, then uh, you can choose the wiring option. You can see here with the, for the plus and you can see here for the ground so it's not that hard to fire it up anyway. Uh, the first steps are uh, quite uh, plug and play so we'll just uh, plug in uh, the two PCI Express cables one goes here the other here and uh, well it's, uh, it was a quite big surprise for me but that's it so we can fire it up. That's it. And that's it, then miner started to run. Uh, the reason why I changed the direction, you can see an IP address here. This IP address is your miner's IP address. Uh, you might know this is a standalone device, so you don't need any um, laptop or raspberries or anything to, to run it. So that's, that's it for the first. <laughs> don't get surprised. If the fan is not going uh, on for the first time, it's not a problem. Uh, it's really intelligent. It's going to see it started now. It kind of measures the temperature, so it kind of goes on and off. Um, of course, if you want to uh, to use the the machine and overclock it, then it will go uh, all the way. Uh, bear in mind, if you uh, overclock the device, you use your warranty. And uh, let's see how to set it up. Hello, everybody. It's uh, the screencast part of the end miner review. So, uh, like I said, you can just type in the IP address of your miner into the browser URL field and just hit enter. And if you do it good, you would see the login screen. Uh, well, actually, uh, first of all, you have to use the IP address given uh, on your end miner's front. Uh, just type in root and the password is root as well. And you can just click login. And as you can see, the miner is uh, uh, running. It's a DHCP connection, so I will show you how to um, I will show you how to change to DHCP. That means that if you plug in any kind of UTP cables, it will just find the internet and goes online. Um, first of all, you can check the network uh, preferences. And we are using WAN connection. If you hit the edit button, that by the factory it's set it up for a static IP address. I change it to DACP. So uh, if you change it to DACP, you might have one trouble that uh, it changed the IP address of your device. So that basically means that you will have to. Uh, find the IP of the device on the network. I personally suggest Angry IP Scanner. It's a cross-platform application. Goes on Linux, Mac, Windows, whatever you have. And it's just an easy way to find your miner. If you want to uh, set up your uh, uh, miner, uh, you just have to click on the status and then the miner configuration. Hit the miner configuration and uh, you can see that we are using it for uh, multi-mining or multi-mining pool. So that's basically it. You just hit the URL of your mining pool, your worker and the pool password. And you just click on save and basically that's it. As you can see in the miner status, you can uh, it's just instantly start mining. Well, ours, uh, we tried the uh, 
overclocking uh, instructions and uh, ours is uh, going around 200 gigahertz per sec so it's, it's quite a good one uh, you can see the temperature is 52 degrees celsius and the frequency is 400 uh, but there is a tutorial for overclocking uh, below this video on bitcoinist.net um, well the configuration part is quite easy um, network configuration is uh, uh, only the question of DHCP there is a small part uh, below this video for for the configuration of the wireless mining but please note if, if you have to uh, if you if you really want to do the wireless mining you have to bring your own uh, wireless antenna because that's not included in the uh, package so you have to use your uh, own antenna or it should be close to the router but by the way I suggest to use a simple cable because that's that's more stable I guess so well actually that was the basic configuration for for the end miner and all the necessary information can be found on bitcoinist.net under the reviews stay tuned thanks